Donald Trump may have the endorsement of the National Rifle Association, but the two aren't exactly seen eye to eye on some gun control issues. If some of those wonderful people had guns strapped right here, right to their waist or right to their ankle, and this son of a comes out and starts shooting, and one of the people in that room happened to have it and goes boom, boom. You know what? That would have been a beautiful, beautiful sight, folks. That would have been a beautiful, beautiful sight. It was the argument that a good guy with a gun could stop a bad guy with a gun. But in this case, the NRA came out in disagreement with their favorite candidate, saying alcohol and guns don't mix. Is I don't think idea? you should have, have firearms where people are drinking, but I'll tell you this, everybody, every American starts to hit, needs to start having a, a, a security plan. No one thinks that people should go into nightclub drinking and carrying firearms. That's, that defies common sense. It also defies the laws. The shooting inside a gay nightclub in Orlando killed 49 people and injured dozens more. There was an armed guard and Orlando police officer who exchanged gunfire with the shooter, but Trump seems to imply that people inside the club should have been allowed to arm themselves. Laws about carrying a gun while intoxicated vary by state. A review by the New York Times in 2010 found eight states ban loaded guns in any establishment that serves alcohol. About half of the remaining states allow loaded guns in bars or certain parts of restaurants that serve alcohol, and the other half don't have laws banning it or allowing it. For Newsy, I'm Stephanie Liebergen.